Hey everyone, we're going to look at this four note lick that is going to make you awesomer, quicker, and better. The idea, if you know your pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, or any minor pentatonic, doesn't matter, there's a lick. That's the notes. If we play it properly, a little bend, a quarter note bend. First string, third fret, quarter note, open string. Second string, open, third fret, second string, quarter note bend, first string. Now, in the first position, it's already a bit difficult if you've never played those little quarter note bends before to get it smooth. The real thing starts happening when you put it in a different position. Same notes, but I'm gonna play it around this shape, in this position. So I'm literally playing down this chord shape. And then I've got the seventh fret, third string, back up to that note. So there's only four notes. When I'm bending this note, I'm bending it up this way. The next note I have to play is there. I find it weird to bend down and then hit that note. It just doesn't feel comfortable at all. But the trick also with this note is you're not bending and then releasing the bend. You're stopping the bend at the top or at the end of the bend. You can do it with the pick, you can do it with this fleshy part of your hand, or you can release, unreleasing the pressure. So with just that finger doing the bend, I'm kind of rolling off the note. But when I'm rolling off that one, just that transition is difficult. Then with this note, I've got to play it with more of the pad of my finger and then roll up to the next note onto the tip of my finger. So even just going down those three notes with the quarter band is a tricky thing to do. Quarter band here on the seventh fret. vibrato at the end and then you could go down your blue scale same lick so it's not a complicated lick as far as the notes but how to play it properly with intention and like a professional guitarist you can play it um, in a more, well, play it differently. I also changed the way I played that. Use different fingers, get used to what's happening and try and make it sound the same with each different fingering. Um, take it through different octaves, like I did it here. You have your original. Uh, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Having a moment there. One of the big things that people ask me is um, how to make it sound less robotic when you're playing scales. And these little quarter tone bends make a massive, massive difference. There is very good Guthrie Govan tutorial. He talks about these little bends. I don't know where it is. If I find it, I'll put it in the link and you can have a look at that because he goes, he goes into it as well. But if you take this lick and you pl play it through each position, it's going to give you where, give you the, some of those notes that sound great with a quarter tone, quarter tone. Quarter tone, yeah, that works. Quarter note bend. So just figure it out in each position and work on it because those subtle things make a big difference in your playing. That's it. Have fun. 
hit me up for lessons if you want on Skype. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and see you in the next one. Cheers. Lots of thumbs up today. I'm done.